people, people. There's a fantastic story that I just heard about a couple of days ago. And it's news that um, the first black professor of history has just been appointed now. If you love history as much as I do, that's, that's such fantastic news. And I'm so big on us telling our, our, our own stories. Congratulations to Dr. Olivette Otele for becoming the first black woman to be a history professor in the UK. My people, 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 at Bath Spa Uni has, Bath University has awarded me a professorship and a chair in history. May this open the door to many very hardworking women, especially women of color, and specifically black women in academia in general, and history in particular, in strength, peace, and love, my people. My people, just as interesting, just as interesting. I was like rummaging around in an article I found about um, in this, his, on history, historytoday.com. And here's the article. We lead, we ask leading historians 20 questions on why their research matters. One book everyone should read on their view on the Tudors. Which book has the greatest influence on you? She, uh, what can I say? She's big on Sheik and to Diop, Black Nations and Culture. It's, you know, one of the classic works of, of writing and history, you know. Um, Sheik and to Diop is a pharaoh, physicist, historian, linguist, and it's, it's one of the classic works, yeah, and if you're conscious, that book, the, his, his works are reference works, yeah, and that she would cite, you know, Shekhan to Diop as, you know, being the most important historian, that, that's big, that's big, big, big. I'm in Derby. I'm out.